Hey guys, so today we're going to be making a triangle, a right triangle to be specific, and then we're going to find the centroid for it, or the exact center, middle of the triangle, and it's also known as a balance point. So let's get on with this, shall we? So we'll make our point A, or point B, and our point C. I'm trying to make this as close as possible. Let's check the angle. This is oh, we're one percent off. Might be a while. Uh, so close. And come on. Oh, there we go. Now we have an exact 90 degree angle. We are going to find the centroid. But first, we would have to find the three medians of the triangle, one for each side. But even before that, we would have to find the midpoints of each side. So how about we do that? So with our handy dandy midpoint tool, we will find the midpoints of AC, which will be D, CB, which we will call E, and BA, which we will call F. Now, with this, we can make the midpoint, and the medians. But first, let's mark a few things. Now, the reason why we're going to be marking is because since we have our midpoints, this would then make it so that the since the original line is cut into two congruent lines because of the midpoint, which would be D, D would be the midpoint of AC, so AD and CD, since those are two lines making up AC, would be congruent. So let's go ahead and mark that. This would apply to all the other ones, so E being the midpoint of CV, CE, and BE would be congruent. And AF and BF, and AF and BF for AB would be congruent. Now that we have those marked, we can then move on to drawing the median lines. Now, to draw the median lines correctly, you would have to go from the from an angle. So let's pick let's, let's pick B. So angle B will be going to the opposite midpoint. So for example, point B or angle B, we would go to the opposite midpoint, which for point for angle B would be D. And that's our first median. Now we'll do this for the rest of them. Angle C, the median, the median, the uh, opposite midpoint would be F, and the opposite midpoint for angle A would be E. Now, since we have our three medians, we can then find the centroid, which is right here. And there's our centroid, or the point of concurrency the intersection of three lines, of the medians of a triangle. <sighs> oh. oh, yeah, I almost forgot. Fun fact, the centroid cuts the median by thirds. So we have our centroid right here. So we'll pick our midpoint. So from D to the centroid, this right here would be one third of the median going through the triangle, so from D to the centroid would be one-third of DB. Um, this also applies to every other um, median. So from E to the centroid, this would be one-third of EA, not not this EA Sports. It's just, it's just kind of trash. From F to the centroid being FC, F, F to the centroid would be one-third of FC. 
So yeah, that's that's about it. Hope this is helpful for you, and I'll see you next time.